Marshall Kirk and Hunter Matson, two professors at Harvard University, one in psychology and one in marketing. This book was written in 1988, published in 1989. There was a meeting in 1988 of 144 leading homosexual activists in San Francisco, and there they strategized a campaign um, to basically change the way Americans think about homosexuality. In 1989, Kirk and Madsen published that campaign in their book, After the Ball. The campaign we outline in After the Ball, though complex, depends centrally upon a program of unabashed propaganda. Sometimes I feel like an animal, starting to feel like I cannot go. I'm about to take off this weekend and jump off the deep end. Geranimo, I thought this was a democracy. Really, it's feeling tyrannical. Hey, trying to give me the antidote. Say it can save me, but can it though? Look at the cases, look at the cases, look at the cards. I know my odds, I roll with God. He got the aces, know what my faith is. I know where they going with this, but I'm not finna chase this. And somebody help me, I need to know where my personal space is. I'm using my voice, I'm screaming out loud, it's my body, my choice. So kill all that noise, we need to stick up for them fired employees. Like, how we gonna do this? How we gonna fire people when we cannot hire people? In the US, we smoke a lot, and now we created a class of the high. People, I call them the liar people. Yeah, that's right, I'm talking about you. The LGBT, ABCD, X, oh my god, the alphabet crew. I'm finna mix up some alphabet stew. Just look at the flick at the wrist. I ain't said nothing yet. Already, like, ready, set, say something else, and I'm about to get pissed. Something else, something else. I'm sick of this world. I just need God and my girl. I don't need nothing else. Well, maybe some anime. I like watching cartoons in my living room, what can I say? Then the commercials come on, I'm just like, oh, that's cool, when it's gay. I don't want to see no two men kissing men. I see two girls hugging, I think they friends. You can blame that all on my end of sins. Why you won't take that from me? I know they're talking like this, it's probably gonna put me on the list. But since I already didn't open my mouth, let's talk about how we got into this mess. There's a book on the internet, I really think you should look this one up. But you probably won't get a copy, because it'll run you like 600 bucks. It's a book about propaganda, and how they'll use it to try to convince. Not the people who are opposed, but to convert those who are on the fence. We are safest in the long run, if we can actually make them like us. This is the goal of conversion to change your opinion about homosexuals. We mean conversion of the average American's emotions, mind, and will through a planned psychological attack in the form of propaganda fed to the nation through the media and the schools. This is not about poor, innocent victims. This was a thoughtful propaganda strategy designed to change the way you think designed to make you feel uncomfortable every time somebody says what the Bible says about homosexuality.